I am so happy to welcome this guy back to Philly Press Box Radio. His previous visit was actually three and a half years ago, believe it or not. He's the drummer for the Hooters and Smash Palace and the founder of the great Philly music project In The Pocket. He's also a Philly sports fan and a super guy. Let's welcome him back to the big show. It's David Osikinen. Dave, how are you, man? Jet, I couldn't, I couldn't be better. You know, I'm over my jet lag. We were in Europe for six weeks, so it's nice to be be home. I'm at the Jersey Shore. Uh, we have a little place here down here, and I'm right on the boardwalk here overlooking the beach, so I um, couldn't be in a better place, to be honest well, with you. As you mentioned, you just wrapped up that six-week tour over in Europe. You're a mm. big hit over there. Mm. You, and you personally did a great job of keeping everybody informed of everything. You, you're really good <laughs> with the social media stuff. Yep. So from seeing all your posts on yeah. Facebook, I, I felt like I was there enjoying all the shows. It looked like the tour was a huge success. It, you know, it was the... Uh, we I've been you know been I've been in the Hooters for 42 years. It was my most favorite tour I've ever done with those guys. And I know those are great tours, but we really had a great time. The audiences were great. Maybe that I'll attribute that to, you know, the pandemic, COVID, people just dying to get out and see live music. But we played in Germany, Switzerland, uh, Sweden. I'm heading back to Norway next week to play a big festival up near Russia, and. Uh, uh, you know, they're just dying for music, and uh, it, it, we felt the vibe. Every night, every show picked up more m momentum. I was soloing every night. I had a blast. I had a great time. Well, it's funny. When we first talked on this show in 2019, you were telling me the Hooters, having been formed in 1980, we're going to do a big 40th anniversary celebration <laughs> the following year. Yeah. And then, of Boom. course, you know, COVID. COVID happened, so it didn't quite happen the way you had a plan. So now you got the 40 plus two or 40 mm. take two. Yeah. Barely never, right? Indeed. You know, it was just great to get out. And, you know, I mean, listen, we're, we're getting a little bit uh, up there in our age. So, I mean, before we went out, I guess each one of us had little questions about how we're going to do. We did 31 shows, you know, so and travel in between that hotels, the whole nine yards. And we end up picking up steam as we went. I felt great when I got home. It was it, we all like surpassed our expectations and we didn't go the other way. So that was cool. I mean, listen, maybe next year we do it again. We'll see. Yeah, I checked out a lot of the you know video samples that were out there, and you guys sounded great. You actually Thank did you. a show at Keswick last October. I was right. there for that. So I was 41 years in. Right. And yeah. the band sounded better than ever. Are the guys having as much fun as it looks? More. It looks like we're having fun. We're really, everybody's really excited about what we're doing. Uh, I think this next succession of shows that we do at the Keswick are going to be really, really special. We got some real surprises, and uh, I'm real, I'm real excited about doing that. Uh, it's great to be coming home to do some shows. You know, we got a couple coming up in the next few weeks, so we're 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 pretty juiced about the whole thing. Uh, you know, I mean, look, the, the technology and music now. There's this whole advent of vinyl, and we 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 haven't put out any vinyl in a while, so we're kind of looking towards maybe some of these shows that we have to put out some recordings. So we're really looking at all that kind of stuff you know there was a lot of cool things that happened on this tour and uh, uh we're just kind of you know trying to uh, uh, archive everything and then you know put it out at some point i mentioned the anniversary it all began in 1980 as i said when eric and rob asked you to join the band uh songs like all you zombie and fighting all, all you zombies and fighting on the same side were early hits and then in the mid 80s there were several more hits like you know day by day and we dance satellite etc you mm -hmm. opened up Live Aid in Philly mm -hmm. in 85 in the middle of Indeed. all that. Was it tough dealing with success at a young age? Well, you know, it's just like, um, look, you know, you get those things happening to you. You, you. you can't really plan them out. You know, they happen. You make some money. Listen, we got signed to record deals. We had, it was a ride, more or less. You know, we're on a roller coaster. I, you know, I just feel very fortunate to have a 42-year career with those guys playing. Uh, it, it, you know, it, like anything else, you have to have adjustments. You know, yeah, I guess I answered that yes and no. Yeah. But, you know, uh, we're all survivors and we, we got through and through supporting one another and helping one another get through things. So, um, but we're just having a blast. Listen, Chet, it's like a team. It's like being on, like I, I watch, like I'm a big sports fan, as you mm -hmm. mentioned, Phillies, Eagles, uh, Sixers, Flyers, you know, four for four. I, you see these teams, how they operate. Successful teams, man, are a team. You know, you have great leadership. You have to come in. You have to have guys that really 
pull for one another. When you do a long tour like this, you got to help one another get through it. And, uh, and and there's a lot of joy afterwards doing that kind of thing. A lot of joy. So uh, I have fun with it as much as I do. You know, the six guys I have with the Hooters, when I do in the pocket, there's 20 of us. Same thing, man. We pull together. We make it work. I just remembered this morning that I have this uh, Nervous Night album <laughs> signed by, there yeah, it yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Uh, Harry, Harry. Harry signed it. <laughs> I'll have to sign it for you. And yeah, you and uh, Rob, next time I see you guys, have to sign that for Indeed. me. Indeed. Um, let's see. It was a dozen or so years ago, you mentioned In the Pocket, you started the Songs in the Pocket project, largely celebrating Philly music. And I saw you guys back in June. Let's see if I can find a picture. Yeah. There yeah. Was back in wow. June. It was a great night, man. You guys are awesome. Bush singing right there, of course. Uh, you mentioned there's you got 20 plus guys, you know, revolving in and out of there. Yeah, that's got to be a blast putting all that together and playing with all those great musicians. Yeah. You know, it was really nice to have a few new additions to the to the picture there. You see John Fay there and Tommy Williams who joined us, who plays in the Hooters. Uh, you know, that was a great night, and I, I, it was so hot that night yeah. that at the end of the evening, I wished everybody a Merry Christmas. <laughs> I got like a little heat stroke thing and my wife came to me because you were gay as wife you wished everybody a Merry Christmas, you know, so go figure. Yeah, it, it, that's another one of those, you know, you get to step on stage with Richard Bush, Tommy Conwell, a new guy like John Fay, who's had an amazing career at yeah, all fields and all the things. Ike, he was great. You know, and you got guys like, you know, uh, 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 Wally Smith and 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 just other cats, Charlie Ingwe, Winkle, you know, it, it, Ben Arnold. Uh, it, it's always it was great. It's a great night for me all the time. I love hanging with those cats, playing with them. They're terrific. Well, you got a bunch of shows coming up. Uh, you told me off the air that Smash Palace has a show coming up in September in the yeah. pocket uh, back at the Ardmore Music Hall, October, October 1st. And let's see, we got a Hooters mini. Yeah, little, little local Quaker thing. Town and Kate May coming up real soon. And then yeah. you mentioned you go back to Norway for a festival. But then the tradition, uh, the fall shows at the Keswick. I will be there Saturday, November 5th. Yeah. And that, those will be sold out, I'm sure. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, well, yeah, they're, they're, they're close to being sold out now. So if you want to go get your tickets, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's always a gas, too. I should also mention, too, I'm doing a show in Phoenixville with my friend Greg Sover on September 9th. That'll be a fun show to do as well. A great band, Kenny Aronson and Wally Smith playing with me that night. And of course, Smash Pals the night after. So, yeah, I'm staying busy. I'm afraid to stop, you know, because when the wheels stop, you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, don't ever, don't ever stop. Dave. Hey, a couple of sports questions. Uh, yeah. As we speak, the Phillies are right there in the playoff hunt. They haven't been there since 2011. Bryce yeah. Harper should be back real, Ooh, real soon. Are yeah. you liking what you're seeing from uh, this team for the most part this year? Yeah, we followed them when we were over. At our, our Turk, our monitor guy, has the Phillies game on by his monitor console. Nice. So we keep an eye on what the Phillies were doing. You know, they're battling it out for that last wild card. You know that one playoff position, right? The, the, yeah. I think they yeah, one the, of the wild cards. Yeah, Padres are a little bit. There's a little couple other teams that yeah. are, like, you know, they're battling up for. But I like where we're at. I'm going to the game Wednesday, and I'm really excited about seeing them. Like just because they they're, they play great, you know, their their def defense it's always a little bit a little bit lacking, but they're starting to pick it up as a team. Great hitting, and Har Harper coming back. You can't not like that. Well, you mentioned Wednesday. This interview will actually be airing as you're at the game, Wednesday the 24th. Excellent. And I'll be your there. friend and mine, Jackie Bam Bam, will be there. Also. <laughs> he's he's going to be dancing on the dugout with the Fanatic in the fifth inning. Get out of here. Are you I kidding me? Swear. It is I, Mummer's I, Night. There will be a celebration of string <laughs> band. So, you know, Jackie's a mummer. I'm going to give him a shout, man. I've got to let him know that I'll be there. It'll be good. Jackie's a wild man. He's great. Oh, he, he sure he's is. Hey, hey, listen, i gotta, yeah. I got to say something to you, too. The birds, man. So I'm really excited about what I'm seeing with the Eagles. That first preseason, that series where they call that penalty back, and they had to, and and and, yeah. and then he two touchdowns, man. He's looking good. You know, so you're a Jalen Hurts guy. You like him. He took that vicious hit, uh, bounced back up from it. Uh, you know, he's got his critics, but yeah. a lot's going to be on his shoulders this year. You like Jalen? Yeah. I do. I like. I like it. There's an upside to him, and I think that he's got a desire to win. He's a gamer, so like I'm really pumped to, spe to see what the Eagles are going to be about. Because not only him, but look at that team. I mean, the two guys they got from Alabama. Who? I mean, Georgia. watching the defense. I'm really excited about it. Very yeah. excited. Yeah, from Georgia, Alabama. Jordan Davis. Yeah. Oh yeah, Georgia. I'm sorry, Georgia. I'm saying Georgia. Jordan Davis and and uh, Nikimi, uh, uh, Nakobe Dean. Yeah, yeah those Southern well, that, states. That's, yeah, oh, Alabama. I said that's their, <laughs> that's their rival. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Dave, as we said, you got a busy, busy fall ahead of you. I, I'm so glad to see you. I'm so hey, glad. Me you too, man. Good to see love you too. Love playing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll be seeing you at, uh, at Keswick on Beautiful. November 5th. We'll I always make your presence known, man. Come say hello. And we'll chat. I always love coming on you. I love talking sports, as you know that. And, uh, and I, I love my Philly peeps. Well, this was fun as I knew it would be. Yeah. David Osikinen of the Hooters and In the Pocket and Smash Palace and you name it. He's around. Thanks, Dave. See you, man. Bye-bye, Chet.